he is speaking right now to the whole world in a way I've never encountered in my whole life. And he is giving us and you and each person on the earth an opportunity to stop and to listen, to listen to his voice and to reconnect with him. He's now grabbed a hold of the whole world and he's using it like a big old megaphone to shout at you and to invite you to get quiet with him because he wants to connect with you right now more deeply than he has ever connected with you before. But the choice is yours. The choice is yours. God could go to all this effort. Not that God is responsible for the coronavirus, but he is going to use, he uses everything. He doesn't waste a thing. So he is using this opportunity as a way to invite us into deeper intimacy and connection. Because guys, we need it. Because I need to know that I am completely loved right now. And you need to know that. And you need to know that no matter what you do, you are loved and you are accepted and you are forgiven and that you can walk that forgiveness out in your life and you can walk in freedom from everything that binds you and you can walk as somebody who is completely loved by their Heavenly Father. Hey guys, it's Matt. Uh, we're going to hear more from Father Columba on Wednesday, so later on in the week. But... Um some advice of what we can do now. First off, listen to what Father Columba just said, the great part of his video we just heard, um, to take advantage of this time. God has a plan for us in, in these moments. What are we going to do with this? Are we going to waste this time or are we going to use the extra time that God has given us? Okay, so that's, I think, the first piece of advice is to uh, to, to capitalize on this time. Second thing, and this kind of helps the first thing, is... Uh, to pray um, in your house, uh, maybe make a specific a space or a specific room that's going to be devoted to prayer, um, or maybe just like a corner of your own room, your own bedroom. Um, this is how I'm going to pray. Put in a, 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 an image of Jesus or Our Lady uh, there that will help you pray. Um, okay, and then uh, when you do pray to turn off your phone or put it on Do Not Disturb, uh, that's something I do to help a lot because it's very easy for me to get distracted by a, a text message or something. Um, so put your phone on Do Not Disturb. Um, and then lastly, this week, it's called Holy Week. It's the holiest week of the year. So let's capitalize on it. Yes, we, we're in a, a pretty awful situation now um, where people are sick, people are dying, and uh, those of us who uh, might be healthy. We, we can't uh, pray the way we're used to. We can't go to our church. We can't go to Mass. Um, so it's easy to just throw it away. No, don't do that. Um, God has a plan for us now. Let's take advantage and, and make this Holy Week really a Holy Week as we enter into this most sacred time of the year. Okay? So we love you. We're praying for you. We're going to see more of you this week. Uh, so take care. God bless you all.